And we are recording. We are recording the last map we did, which was called Deadly Ending. Uh, the ending was indeed deadly. I guess. We did yeah, die. Actually, yeah, we did die. But that map... Uh, this map is boring! It's basically a giant maze. With like hold a, mode absolutely it's a, activated. I, I, I like the comments for this map, because as I was looking through them, I was, they were like, zigzag? And I was like, what? what's a zigzag? You mean zigzag zombies? But no, the entire map is one giant zigzag. The entire few maps are one giant zigzag. And I'm like, who? This? Ah, what kind of? This is a tedious map. It's tedious and it's long. It's dealer. It's the worst kind of needlessly long that I've ever seen. Yeah, the the third part of mainly is the reason why. The third part was a spiral, but it had a zigzag pattern in the very beginning, and that's the thing. You made this a giant long ass maze when really the map is not that long. I understand you're trying to kind of prolong the map, make it longer within length of what a four part map should be. Thing is, if you took away all that zigzagging, all that spiral move, all we that, it would track down the map to a point where it was like five minutes per part. And even then, even if we trim, let's let's say you did trim down all that stuff. Now we still have like a million fucking common to go through. Yeah, I understand the horde. The horde is kind of a gimmick. This whole map's gimmick is basically shoot the shit out of the horde and move on. It's an old school style. It's a lot like the original core. But it's a pr the problem with the original core was is that it had direction, but it was fast. Uh, it was you know too what? easy in a sense. You know what? I can actually see this being a rail shooter. This was kind of like a rail shooter. Yeah, I can see this being like a survival map too. In a sense, because it's got the endurance. It has the test endurance to it. And this this map did test our endurance, I'm not going to lie. But the problem with this map, though, is that it's so generic and so boring that there's really nothing to go explore about around. When we tried to explore, there's no reward. There's no reason to be in there. In fact, the only time we ever explored at all and got rewarded was the finale. It was the first time we seen adrenaline. It was the first time I seen an ammo uh, box where it could have been fire bullets or explosive bullet bullets. It's the first time I ever seen them. The entire campaign, the same thing with the frying pan. It was the first time I seen that. But out of the whole entire campaign, that's a problem. I mean, you're not giving us a whole variety of weapons. You're just saying, here's a shotgun, here's ammo, here's a med pack kit, go. Actually, yes. That, that's a He's very a, apt description of it. Here's your med packs. Here's your weapons. Go. Just go. <laughs> There's no thought to this map. Just go. And uh, given I do like certain maps that are like that. I did like the Parish because it managed to take that bridge part and make you do that same tactic. But I don't want to keep going like point A to point B and then do it again every single part of the maps. You know, it's it's boring. It's too long, it prolongs the map, and really part three is a big problem. It's a big problem because of that fucking common. I've never seen a map campaign allow me in one part of the map nearly kill 300 my own self, but on top of that you have another 250 killed by Keo, another 150 killed by the bot, another 150 killed by Meta. It was... Overkill. You threw a thousand common, almost, at us. And that's that's not good. There should never be a thousand co common in one part, unless your map is literally a one-part map. Okay? There is no other reason. And your map is not. It's a four-part. It's broken down for that reason. You could have split the four, third part in half and made this a five-part. It would have been better. Yeah. Anything else to add? Let's get to the review portion. Yeah. Yeah.
let's get to it. Five stars max, one star minimum. Meta, you start. Uh, obviously, we're looking over Tread since he's not here tonight. Uh, number of infected. What do you think? Overwhelming. Now there are certain maps where this where this works. Like Helm's Deep is the best example of this. Agreed. But then again, it's even Helm's Deep isn't too overwhelming because with a little teamwork, you can get through it. Well, not only that, Helm's Deep is a survival map. It was built to basically house that much common killed. Yeah. Yeah. It is. This map, on the other hand... Oh, my goodness. There, there are hardly any breaks. Like, first, it go. you said yourself that this goes from having, like... Too few common to having too much. It just seems like there's like too much of a difficulty curve mm-hmm. in the common infected mm-hmm. that rise. So I think I'm gonna give this half. I think I'm gonna give it half a star because it's overwhelming to a point where we get right. defeated. Right. Uh, kill. Oh, no, that's that's a horrible reason. But you go on. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that good. And I think I'm only going to give it a fourth of stall. A fourth? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be with you, Kyo. It's a fourth. It, it it changes way too frequently. I mean, the first two parts, we got through them. No problems. The only time I had problems was specials, and really the specials weren't too much of a problem in the first place. And then you see the curve in the second part when we did it is basically we ran through it so fast that we only killed four specials. It's kind of a change. And then the third part, we start off, there's hardly any common. And then we're in the middle of it, no common. Then the near the freaking maze uh, in the sewers, here they all are. They're all coming after you. And that is way too much. You just Now, you haven't really balanced the whole entire part out. You're just saying, we're going to throw in another 5,000 that year. It's like, it's like, what the fuck? You built, you put yourself at a standard where it was kind of balancing itself out with wave after wave. Where if you press a button, activates an alarm, we have to end that alarm. That started out fine. And then all of a sudden we went to a freaking point where there was no alarm, but there was horde, but it wasn't a big horde. Then we had an activated an alarm on a car, mild horde, and then suddenly we have this massive break where there's nothing. And then come back to it, we're in the sewers, pff, here they all are. This is just now a wall of infected. And especially when you don't have any health, you, you basically have to tell your people, okay, we got to heal up, and then we got to make sure we have a health pack, we got to make sure we have pills, we have to make sure we have a full clip of ammo just to get through that area. We have to make sure we have all those components when we get there, and we're still halfway. Just planning that stage. We have to plan it right there when we get to those to the ammo pouch, to the AK-47s, to those eight med packs that are there. It's just, no. You should never do that to your players. Anyway, uh, moving on uh, to length. I could clock this in, but I figure really it shouldn't be clocked in. Anyway, uh, Meta, what do you think about the length? What did I think about the length? Well, I guess the length is high. Um, eh. This length. Just. I guess if you wanted to artificially lengthen it, you did a really damn good job of that. Yeah, it clocked in for about an hour on my recording of it. But it's all, uh, when you do that, you kind of have to make the, you kind of make the trade off of also making it tedious, unless there's a way, unless you find a way to make it interesting. Mm-hmm. And honestly, going through this map, it was very boring. But I guess, but I can, but when I was playing through it, I could easily tell that it was artificially lengthened, mm-hmm. like straight from the get go. And usually when I play a map, I shouldn't be able to tell that. That's the thing. You have to keep this illusion that you don't know how much time you're running through a map. 
Mm-hmm. And I always felt like it was just, it just kept going on, and I could tell that it was dragging on. Mm-hmm. And for that, I'm going to give this a quarter of a star. All right. Kill. I did it terribly. It, it says you say, you, you could feel it. The seconds pass as you're playing this map. We actually started to drift to talk about other things instead of the map. It's... It's not good in any way like that. They'll give it no star. No star. Um, I agree. It is a no star for me. Uh, the amount of length in the third part alone just... That was the most boring part from over half that map, part of the map. And then at the very end, we had to kick it in gear. That's when we're most focused. I understand most of this was just mainly get ready to go and go balls out. Sometimes that's fun. Most of the time it's not. It means you're la- lacking in your game design, uh, map design. You're lacking in uh, interest. You're just saying go this way, go now, and kill everything in front of you. It's not really a good thing. Maybe for like the finale, it works for the finale. Because then you're trying to get to like a helicopter, or you're trying to get to a boat, or you're trying to do something. As far as everything else, no, it just doesn't. Um, you cannot fucking rush this. And when you're trying to force us to rush it because of the common, that's not good. You're already on bad territory. Um, the fact that it's being prolonged, you can really tell it was prolonging with every zigzag turn we took, every bit of maze that we encountered, every time we had to press a button, we knew that there was going to be common in front of us, and we're in a tunnel of room. It, it's not good. Never should be that. It should never have that frequency. Um, so with that, yeah, it's a zero. The length, you cannot justify it. It's too artificial. Uh, for fucking 56 minutes on a four-part, it's over the top. Uh, for, for a four-part, it should only max out maybe 45 to 50 minutes. And we didn't quite finish it. We would have had to restart the finale if we did. Anyway, um, moving on to difficulty. Uh, Meta, what did you think about the difficulty? Oh my goodness. Um, once again, I have a problem with it being overwhelming, but and I'm not. I, I'm always one for challenge, but that got a little crazy. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it got boring. It got boring doing that exact same thing. It didn't feel intense. It didn't feel. I just wasn't feeling excited playing that map. <laughs> At all. Same. So, I think I'm going to give that... Let's see. This was what? Difficulty. Difficulty. Also, difficulty curve being wonk, kind of wonky. So, I'm going to give that a quarter of a star. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll give it a quarter. Alright. Uh, this is a different one. It's really hard for me to figure out what I want to give it. Because at the same time, it did give us the health. But, on the minus side of the health thing, it didn't give us a whole variety. It didn't give us... Well, for instance, uh, defibrillators. That was one thing it didn't give us. It also didn't give us enough time to use the med packs or defibrillators if we found one. Um, You gave us pills. That's fine. But you didn't give us adrenaline. Um, I found one adrenaline the entire campaign. And then it goes to the weapons. It's not a very wide variety of weapons to use. You got a shotgun, or you got a sniper rifle, and I'm not talking about the freaking military, it's the hunting one. Or you got an assault rifle. It's nice to give us, in the, near the beginning, a tier 2 weapon of, of an M16, but at the same time, <laughs> it's not a whole variety. Um, in fact, the, first time, the only other melee i seen in the entire game was a golf club. And a frying pan. We gotta start it off with a sword. 
And then you go to the specials. And this is where I started we started seeing like the same special be spawned almost within five seconds of each other. Yeah. That that's a big problem. It it should be like a variety of them. And I seen like three spitters come out back to back to back. Then there was one part where me and Kyo are getting killed by two chargers. It just happened hit us and then meta goes down, you know. It's stuff like that. You can't have the same special be spawned twice or three times in a row. You gotta change it up. I think some of those infected were programmed to spawn. Yeah, and if they're programmed to spawn, that's fine. But still, random spawn, that's AI director. That one you cannot control too much. But you can control the frequency of how those spawn. It's literally a coding thing you can do with Left 4 Dead 2. You, if you coded these thing, these to spawn frequently, that's fine. But you spawned them to like the same one. That that's just weird. I should never see two, two or three spitters coming out at the same time, almost. So yeah, I did have a problem with that. Um, I didn't really have too much of an issue with the amount that's being spawned at the same time. Just the same one over and over and over. It just gets repetitive. So with that being said, the amount of non-variety, plus the fact that it is in fact quite overwhelming and long for our maps, I do have to give it a zero. There are just so many things outweigh anything about the difficulty because you could it could shift on you so many times. Moving on uh, to design, I. I'm guessing it's safe to say that we want to give it a zero, but that's up to you guys. I'm giving myself, a, I'm giving it a zero. It just really wasn't that good. Um, meta. There was nothing impressive about this design that I found. Nope. And part of it, I think, I might be because I have the informal box skyboxes on, but even then, you'd have to do a lot to make a skybox impressive. Mm-hmm. So, there just wasn't a lot to look at in this level. It's just, it's just, it's literally, look at all these, look at, pick up med kits, pick up guns, go. And I guess you get, you gave us just enough med kits and med kits and whatever. And it also doesn't help that there isn't a large variety of weapons or guns or or health uh, health items or hell there's not even a single throwable in this entire into this entire campaign not a single damn throwable no molotovs no pipe ups no biles which i would have at least considered putting at least one molotov in here no fire in my camp and it, not in my campaign no fire in a campaign that that is just blasphemy in my eyes. Zero. Fucking zero. Alright, uh Keo, what do you want to give it? And that may yeah. seem biased, but then again, the level the level is boring to begin the campaign's boring to begin and with. And to and add I mean, on to that, this map is really designed to have those throwables with you. Without having them, this it makes it too difficult. I mean you look at the third part where the sewer if you didn't have a fucking pipe bomb you couldn't kill him you had to kill him with your sword like your melee weapon or your gun and it's doable but it's boring it's not making it faster just prolong it and you may not have the health kit so the throwables are almost a must for this map and you didn't show a goddamn one of them that's just to add on to that anyway uh kyo go ahead kyo yeah i'm Sorry. gonna give it a zero as well we just it was everywhere and nowhere. And it just lacked too many things. Mm -hmm. And I already know mine is a zero. Um, this brings us obviously to the recommendations. I, I know why he probably didn't uh, didn't include throwables. It's probably because it made that particular map too easy. But then again, you gave us good tier weapons like a katana. And an AK-47 or a tactical shotgun. Mm-hmm. It's just that you didn't have a variety. 
Um, yeah. Anyways, to recommendations, uh, do either of you recommend it, really? Absolutely not. No. That's what I thought. I don't either. Um, this map, by far one of the worst ones we've played. It just does not hit anything like it should. Um, it's just... It doesn't have anything going for it. It doesn't have any reason to be there. It's got its certain own little fun levels, and I can see it being fun for certain people. It's an endurance. People like endurance. I'm not saying they don't, but at the same time, this map isn't really challenging more or less than it is prolonging. Um, the finale, it, it, that's the only best designed area in the whole map. Uh, the whole campaign. It is the, probably the best because it's got the most interesting things to look at. And that's saying a lot considering that it really wasn't that good. You're in a building. The ladder moves, which was weird. Um... Even going through the ladder, you find a place where it looks like just a scribbled version of a ladder. It's like a ghost ladder. It was the weirdest fucking look. I didn't understand it. Yeah, it looked like a custom ladder that just didn't get a skin. Yeah, it didn't didn't have a skin. didn't have a texture. It's There's a lot of things wrong with this map that needs to be adjusted. The amount of infected in the third part needs to really be adjusted. It's way too much, if not shortened. Um... Get rid of that whole forest, because really, that forest does not belong. It's just there. There is no common to really fight, except in the very beginning when you walk out. It's you really include a forest when you want when you want people to when you want infected to like spread out among the trees. Yeah, and it makes it, it harder to hit them. Well, not like that. Specifically, special infected, not just normal. In this one, it's just like, okay, we kill a horde, and then we're just walking through it. There is no reason for that. There is a lot of places where it just doesn't belong. The first two parts were nice. At least they kind of stayed within the kind of theme of what the map was going for. But then you gave us the third part, and the third part just kind of there. It doesn't belong, though. It's just one of these things that's not like the other. It doesn't belong there. The fourth part is fine. Uh, the finale, I had really no problems with the finale other than the fact that it's just on a building. It just wasn't, it, it's not challenging, it's just there, you know. Mm-hmm. But the third part is a really big problem. It's too long, it's off-putting, it doesn't, it really doesn't belong in this map. It, it just ruins it horribly. So, uh, anything else to add to that, guys? I think it's been all that needs to be said. All right. I just find this all depressing. Yeah, it's a very depressing map. Uh, Meta, you gave it a full star out of five. Uh, Kyo, you gave it a half a star out of five. And I gave it a quarter of a star out of five. It is a bad map. It does not belong. We do not recommend anybody play it. Um, if you want to, go for it. That's up to you guys, the viewers. But, uh... Our rating is stay away. Don't try it. Don't. Unless the guy fixes it to the creator, yeah, just let us know if you do fix some of the adjustments that we pointed out. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's just a really, really bad map. So with that said, Meta, go do your thing. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, your comments help us to be better at what we do. Because we wouldn't do that better without you guys. Also, keep watching. Yes. And to the viewers and the people that made it with creators, please PM us or comment below uh, the video if you have something to say. If you want to PM us on uh, YouTube, go ahead. Um, For those of you that want to recommend a map for us to review and try out, please do. You can PM us or you can write a comment below and we'll check it out if we've played it we'll tell you of course if we haven't we might do it we do have other maps in the lead right now that we must do but yeah yeah also suggest maps Mm -hmm. for us to play yeah just make sure it's not a map we have we've done 
Also, if you do suggest a map, do not choose some of the more obvious ones. Do not choose Helm's Deep. Do not choose uh, Suicide Blitz 2. We've played those. But it's just going to be an unfair review. So try to go a little bit more deeper, dig deeper to it, and try to find one that's a little bit more scarce, not well known. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. And with that, we all bid you good night. Good night, Dread. Dread wasn't here for the review because he wasn't here for the gameplay either. Just yeah. in case you missed that. Yeah, Sparkles unfortunately had to go to Kyokon. And yeah, his yeah, that's pretty much why he wasn't here. Anyways, see you later. <laughs>